Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mythbusters. Unfortunately, today's episode will be the last episode for a month or so. Harrison and I are going back to the drawing board to see how we can make Mythbusters bigger and better than ever for you guys, and I think you're going to like what we have in store. Or maybe we're stopping because Harrison is sick of my puns. Is that why? Regardless, today's myth is an interesting one and will definitely turn a few heads, but I'm going to bring out the gun show. You need to have muscles on your muscles. You need to have muscles on your eyeballs. Ew. And try my hardest to debunk this myth into the ground. Tone it down. Okay, okay. Today's myth is, drum roll please, it is not healthy to spay or neuter your dog or cat. Whether or not to spay or neuter your furry family member is a common crossroads pet owners undergo when their pet reaches sexual maturity. In order to debunk this myth, it is best to understand the various reasons why many veterinarians recommend and perform these procedures for our furry family companions. Reason number one, spaying and neutering your dog and cats prevents the birth of unwanted puppies and kittens. It also decreases the population of homeless animals and thus number of dogs and cats in shelters. According to the ASPCA, approximately 6.5 million dogs and cats enter into shelters every year in the United States. It's quite literally raining dogs and cats in those buildings. Although the numbers have declined over the years, it still remains that shelters become overcrowded with unwanted or homeless animals. Reason number two, these procedures help decrease the risk of various diseases. When females are not spayed, they are at greater risk of forming mammary cancer. In dogs, about 50% of mammary cancer is malignant, and in cats, about 90% of mammary tumors are malignant. Spaying can also prevent a life-threatening infection in the female uterus, called pyometra. When males are not neutered, they are at greater risk for testicular or prostate cancer, and a disease called benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is an enlarged prostate. Now, I hope you haven't lost your marbles listening to these facts, but it's clear that your male dog probably should. Come on, that was a good one. Lastly, reason number three. Spaying and neutering animals helps reduce unwanted or frustrating behaviors that can occur when a dog or cat remains intact. When a female undergoes their heat cycle, they often have bloody discharge, increased vocalization, sudden change in behavior, and begin to urine mark areas in their environment. Similarly, intact males are more inclined to roam outside of their environment, urine mark surfaces, and or have a sudden change in behavior towards other animals. If you have questions or concerns regarding spaying or neutering your pet, feel free to contact All Star Veterinary Clinic or your trusted local veterinarian. Now, let's go see what the clinic thinks of myth number six. Today, we're debunking a myth, the last myth for a while, don't worry. So, today's myth is, it is not healthy to spay or neuter your dog or cat. What are your thoughts about that? Not healthy? I don't think I've ever heard that. <laughs> It's a new one. I just made it up. All right. Um, I mean, I guess I get concerned. Uh, people have concerns on um, one. No, that that myth is wrong. Because <laughs> health wise, uh, like for the spaying, um, you know, once they go through a first heat cycle, uh, their percentage of mammary cancer. Uh, go oh, did we talk about? Sounds familiar. Oh, you know, right, Jack. Um, so that that for the females um, and uh, the uh, infection of the uterus, the pyometra, that can be an issue later. Oh, we <laughs> oh, got it again. Um, and then the males for uh, for the castration. Um, all those hormones that can affect uh, behavior. They can have prostate issues. Oh. oh, she's three for three. Should we keep going? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my You're so gosh. smart. I don't even remember the question at this point. Am I answering it? I think we got it covered. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> funny you're sitting here we're actually just trying to find some uh, guests on our show Mythbusters have you heard of it I have oh well, that's good okay so today's myth is it is not healthy to spay or neuter your dog or cat what do you think about that that it's not healthy to do well that just seems wrong I feel like it would be a healthy thing to do or we wouldn't do them yeah yeah okay where can someone try to find someone to spay or neuter their dog or cat 
You know, Sirius, my puppy, actually just got neutered this week, and the lovely doctors here at All Star took care of him and did a great job. Great. That is he doing okay? Everything going good? Yeah, he's doing great. He's back to his ornery, rambunctious self. So, you know, he jumped back pretty well. So. Awesome. All right, there you have it. Proof. We're doing our job. <laughs> We're finally going to get Dr. Dudley. Let's go. Hey, perfect timing. <laughs> Wow, we have a very special guest today, you guys. It's the infamous Dr. Ashley Dudley. Wow, it took us seven episodes to get her, but we got her. Okay, today, <laughs> today's myth is, we'd love to hear your thoughts. It is not healthy to spay or neuter your dog or cat. What do you think about that? Well, I'd say uh, that... <laughs> Um, I obviously recommend spaying and neutering. Um, there's a lot of benefits to it if it's timed appropriately and um, if they are not planning on breeding that animal. Yeah, what kind of things are we trying to avoid, do you think? Well, we're trying to avoid, well, I guess it depends on a boy or a girl. Let me ask you. Oh, ooh, I like this. Let's start with the girls. So um, we're trying to avoid infection in the uterus, pyometra. Um, we're also trying to avoid um, ovarian cancer and uterine cancers as well. And then each cycle they go through, we're at an increased predisposition for mammary cancer, breast cancer. Sounds familiar. What about the boys? Oh, goodness gracious. Um, as much as we'd like to keep their manhood, um, it really is important to get them neutered so that we don't have prostate issues later in life. All right, there you have it. Thank you, Dr. Dudley. Woo! That's all we have for Mythbusters. Come back again. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Mythbusters. What myths would you like to see next? Is there anything you'd like to see changed? What about improvements? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you in a few short weeks for the return of Mythbusters. And remember folks, spay and neuter your pets.